Yo, good morning, good night, good afternoon. God damn. Yo, dog. Me look good in. Oh, God, me look good in. Mm. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy Fred, EGK Coop. Now going as EGK Coop. I'm mean, not changing my blood clot name for nobody. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, everybody. On today's video, we got a box. Box from a company called Cooler Work. Well, this is one that, that I ordered. They make a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of different companies. There's like IRP and uh, CNC and, and IRL or, no, wait, IR. Anyways. Couple of those those shifters cost thousands of dollars. I got this one on Black Friday. Took took a good minute to get here from the UK, but let's open her on up. Good packing. Good packing. There she is. This is the shifter. So this is a company you get a sticker. Cooler work. Cooler works. Oh, that shit big. Pause. Yo, look upon that dog. Yo, that shit mud. So uh this is what we're doing tonight. Cause it's it's actually 8:44. So this is a cooler work shifter with a with a lockout short shifter, adjustable, uh, self-centering. So you let go, it snaps back. That shit damn near look almost like a uh, like a uh, it's a puncher shifter. Yeah, so let's go inside the car. So I'll take it in the park and get ready to put this in. That should do look good in there though. That should do look pretty mud. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be like a, like a sequential gearbox. <laughs> Yeah, boy. All right, tomorrow. All right, guys. So first impression of the shifter is really not very, very precise. Uh, I do like the height from, from the steering wheel to the shifter. And shifting. I'm with my kids right now, taking them, taking them to school. I gotta stop by the bank and get them some money for some, uh, some carnival. Ollie in the back right there. Uh, so yeah, so engagement is really good. And especially with these little pins that I put in, makes it, makes it like, you know what gear you're going into for sure. All right, so just left the bank. Gave the kids some money. Like I said, it it shifts real good. It shifts real good. The only bad thing that I can say about it is, is, is 
the whole the whole cutting up your your center console. What else on that? The downshifting feels good. I got to with the whole with the whole self-centering. You can like I'm in fifth right now. If I want to downshift, just I just draw back and it automatically goes into the middle and down down into four like. Like so it ain't like I gotta come down and come over. I just come down and then go up the third. Same thing for second. It's coming down, but then, but then I gotta bring it over for a second. And like you know, you're in neutral for sure, because it just pops. It just pops right in the neutral. So we are leaving my son's doctor appointment because, okay, so the video is gonna be kind of weird because at first I was dropping the kids off in the school in the morning, but then I didn't turn on the 360 version of this camera. So, so it was only looking that way. So, so this is what, like two days later? Yeah. It's like two days later. JD was like his braces done. We're fixed.
set the pins right, each gear is lined up like perfect. All right, so we are back home. Uh, I got to say the shifter is very precise, it's not cheap. The only flaw that I personally find with it is the amount, the amount that you have to cut and trim in the center console. But the feel of it, the shifting, the throw, I think it's about two inches less than the OEM box. Uh, this is the OEM box right here. how far that shit was bruh and like it was bad it was bad on top of that it was so short it was so short and i even added an extension on there i just said an extension piece and it it just didn't fit my driving style even my txx got a a hybrid racing shifter and i like it tall box but yeah man that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this video. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you do want to cop one of these shifters, I'll leave a link in the, uh, the, uh, damn. Listen, it's like eight o'clock in the morning. I work nights and I had to wake up and get these kids some money for the carnival. So, so I'm, yeah, bro, so I'm still tired. Uh, I'll leave links in the description down below I think this might be the first video of this shifter on the Evo that's installed because I tried looking up videos before and the only thing I saw was like at BMWs 350Zs every other car except for Evo but this might be the first video on YouTube with this shifter on the Evo 8 on Evo 9 whatever but Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully, it is a dyno video. And uh, stay blessed. Yeah, peace.